It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Bent Spoke Brewing Company and it's a can of their Barley Griffin Canberra Pale Ale. And it's coming in at 4.2% ABV in a 375 milliliter can. Slightly bigger can than the UK can. UK cans are about 330. Uh, but yeah, all the more for me, yeah? Let's get it out. We got one of those full opening cans so you can kind of just swig it back if you wish i'll show you now bit of smoke on the opening there you go look all of the beer well i say all of the beer you can if you want now you can just swig it out the can perfect train beer beer in the glass quite light to look at and nice looks like it's got a nice haze to it yeah, definitely a nice haze, nice and light looking. A straw coloured beer, good levels of carbonation. Two finger white head. Slight haze on it, I like the haze. We all love the haze, yeah? Aroma. Oh yeah, that's really juicy. For me, what happens when you put a really light malt or when you use a really light malt in a beer you're just using the the malt as a platform to showcase the hops that for me is you make a you make a slightly dry beer and it's all about showcasing them hops and it really is showcasing them hops this light colored beer i'll explain everything in a moment but it's quite candied it's a lemon aroma Touch of lime, lemon lime. Maybe such a passion fruit and mango. It smells really good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. A real drinkable beer. And, uh, and to be honest, my first beer of the day and I need that I've been filming all day long um, I'll get back to that in a moment but let's talk about the beer first and foremost I'll tell you all my stories and, and everything else later on oh yeah it's just nice to get a beer in me um, light Drinkable, refreshing, good levels of carbonation, pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases lots of flavours. There is a bit of mango, there's a bit of passion fruit in there. Uh, lemon, lime, nice, easy bitterness on the back end, a little bit of sweetness up front. That basically sums up the beer. Let's... Now I can maybe tell you a little bit about my story. I mean. But it, 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 it's exactly what beer's for though, isn't it? It's long day, you can relax, you can, you can let your shoulders drop and you can... Mm. For me, to end my working day and then start my casual day it's like a switch. It's like you have to you have to switch off your work, uh, and then spend a few hours relaxing with your family and your wife or whatever you do with your with your time. And there's nothing better for that than a beer to flick that switch over from work mode down to to casual, relaxed, chill out mode. And that's what's happened with this beer. That's why I was reflecting on my long day. Oof. Been a long day, been filming all day, now I can enjoy a beer. Ironically, I'm still filming, but I really enjoy what I do. So I don't class this really as work. Uh, what have I been doing? Uh, I popped into my local city centre today, uh, went to a burger bar, um, did a did some, some filming, uh, recorded a video called uh, is this the UK's best burger? So we did a burger video and I used my GoPro, my stabilizer, and I was running around the city getting good shots and filming myself 
in the city centre, everybody was looking at me, who's that guy over there? Uh, and then I made my way to the burger shop and I filmed in the burger shop and, and the restaurants and sat down, had some dirty fries and a double massive burger and, and yeah, and I filmed the whole lot. And it was a good time, it was a good time. Good time. But um, yeah, glad, glad to be, that's the burger repeating on me. Uh, glad to be back, glad, glad to be home. Enjoying a beer with you guys. I wanted to talk about that light malt. If you use a darker malt in a beer, like Ben spoke do, they produce a lovely red ale. I'll get it for you now. I have one just here. Red nut. Red and hoppy it's called. You pull in, because it's a red ale, it, it, it's a darker malt, uh, and you pull in more, different flavours from the beer. You, you pull in different flavours from the malt, uh, a little bit more toffee, a little bit more kind of... It changes the hop profile, changes it to be almost like a candied... I, I love red ales, I could crack that open and drink that, but I'm enjoying this just as much. What you do by using a light malt is... Yes, it gives a little bit of sweetness, a little touch of maltiness. But then that's it. It's done its job. The malt's done its job in producing the sugars that the yeast needs to turn into alcohol. And then you can hop it, dry hop it, and then, and then you have a platform to work off and you can produce a lovely hoppy beer from a light coloured malt used in the ale. Making sense? This is a terrific example of that. A lovely tasting beer. Uh, Canberra Pale Ale, Barley Griffin, Bent Spoke Brewing Company from Australia. Terrific brewery this. I'm really enjoying their beers. I'm gonna rate it. I like it enough to give it a Stone the Crows, nine out of 10. It's a nine out of 10 from Reload Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom and cheers.